So in this video, we're going to see pages. So in PageFly, you can create multiple types of pages. So let's get started with some basic page types. So first of all, we have two options here, which is create from template and create blank page. So if you click here at top page types, you will see how many page type is allowed on PageFly. And this is also apply for Shopify. So here we can see six types of pages. So one is regular homepage, product, collection, blog, and password. So starting with regular pages, regular pages is very simple, which is not a product page and not collection or any type of pages. Let me show you an example. So if we create any page like, you know, about us, contact us or something like this. So this will be counted as regular pages. So again, we can create home page here. So this is self-explanatory. Also product page, we can create collection page and blog page. Last one is password page. So we have two options here that we were talking about earlier. So we can create a page from template. So let's click here and we will be given this six types of pages. So let's begin with regular pages. Here we will see all of the pages provided by PageFly. So right now it says they have 127 templates. You can use this search bar. You can use the filters here to choose your best pages. Also, there is another option here, which is great. You can view PageFly pages before you start using it or start customizing it on your mobile device as well as in your desktop. So if you just hover over your mouse and click on preview, and you will see some information at left sidebar. This page type is home page type. And the style or the vibe is uh, cheerful. And the features are listed here. So we can see sneak peek of the page we're going to customize in the desktop mode. In the desktop mode and also in the mobile device. So if you are interested in this, you can click select to start. So I'm not selecting it right now, but we will dive into it later on in this series. So as you can see, here are six types of pages. You can choose any one of these to start with a desert template or you can start from the blank. So in this series, we will see both of them and we will try to understand how we can reuse their templates to make the best use and reduce producing our new pages um, just using the templates, okay? So, in the pages section, we also have an option here, which is import. And let me create a page to show you some options available in this part. I mean, in pages section. So it will help us later on in our course. Okay. So I have just uh, used this template and let's save it and you will be asked to give it a name and just we'll see this in details so don't worry about that but let's skip this part for now let's go back now we have some options here so let's say we have the export option create from template and these two buttons are the same 
So we have a new option here, which is export. So you can export the created page you have on your dashboard. We can set analytics for page flight. We will see this later on this course. Also, you have the option to setting up the page settings, which is very great for SEO. You can set your um, URL, page URL or page handles. You can easily change the page types from here. And also you have the option to enable optimization and lazy loading for images. Okay, so lazy loading is uh, that your all of the images are not, you know, loaded at a time. At the very first, you have just entered or just landed on the page rather than it will load as you scroll down. And this helps your page to load faster and get a good speed insights. Also, you have the option to add images. This will help you whenever you are sharing your page link with another person in any inbox, whether it can be social media or it can be anywhere else. This uh, image will show up as a thumbnail. So this is also helpful. And also you can click here to edit the page. So let's go back here and let's see how we can export a page. After exporting, we will import this again. So let's click here and let's click export. So we have the option to choose selected page as we have already selected the page and we can choose all pages. So let's see. But one thing, they have the warning that the images will not be exported. And this is very logical because images takes a very big amount of data. And so which is not very good for JSON file. So they are not exporting images. So let's click here. I understand images will not export it and click export. And now let's see here. So now we have a file here with the extension of dot page fly. So the best thing is here, um, you can import this page fly template in any Shopify store. So let's click here on import and you can just easily drag and drop the file here. And which is saying that the page type is regular and image can be imported, which is fine. And click here and import. So this may take a while, depending on your page size. So now it has been uploaded and it will be uploaded as unpublished page. You have to publish it manually. So yeah, after that, you have the option to choose something like this. If you click here, here, and you will see all the pages based on these types. Okay, so you have the option to search um, through pages. Also, you have the option to sort in this pages section. And there's nothing more here to explain. Let's go. But one thing I want to show you here. If I click here and go delete my page, it will show that you can still recover your deleted page within 30 days, which is great because if you accidentally deleted it, so you will get this on trash. So we will talk about trash um, later in this course. So let's delete it. So as you can see, my page is gone. There's an option here we can click here to go to the trash so we can see our deleted pages so yeah. we'll come back to this later on now in the next video we'll see about sections